Hello, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for following us. We're going to take you with us on our next DIY. We're going to be reupholstering our RV sofa. It is a jackknife sofa. What it is, it's an uh, L-shaped sofa, but when you pull it out, it becomes straight and two people can sleep on it. And it's okay sofa, the pattern is okay. It's well taken care of, but I think we're ready for a change. So we're gonna reupholster it ourselves. We have no experience doing this, but we're surely gonna give it a try. If you'd like to join us as we do this, I will take you through the process we're gonna do, the good, the bad, and the worst, probably. <laughs> Not sure, but join us as we do this, and then we'll give you the end result. What we have done now, we've gotten the fabric, we did put the sofa on its flat side. As you can see, it's on its flat side. This part is the bottom and that part is the back side of it. We were very generous with the fabric. We've left 12 inches on each side, the front, the back, and the two sides. We've also are using these pins to pin the corners of the sofa. That way we'll know where the corners end. And once we do our corner, stitching we will know how this looks this is the back side of it that's not the front we're going to flip it after we're done measuring the corners we've done that to both corners this is the corner of one of the sides front sides of the sofa what i did is i'm using this tape which is a heat and bond tape what you need with that is an iron and i had already traced where the pins were if you remember I have it right there. I used the iron to iron it in place. I also went ahead and pressed the other corner that I'm gonna glue together. In a little bit, I'm gonna take this off like so. You just kind of take it off because it has a bonding on here already. And then I'm gonna iron it together and we will have a finish corner. What we have done so far, we went ahead and glued the corners. They look really nice, but we don't feel very secure it's going to stay. So we are going to go back and stitch it uh, with needle and thread. But I also want to show you what we have done. We're using this fleece and we're putting it under the fabric. Since it's real thin, we, we went ahead and doubled it. We made two of them. And we are hugging it all the way to the sides and all the way to the sides in the front and the back. So that way it'll look like it's nice and snuggly. This part that I'm showing you right here is a part of the back of the sofa that goes right there. But in order for us to work with it really well, hubby here had to unhinge it from where it belongs. That's the right side and that's the left side. He did use this tool to take it apart. We're putting some of that extra final pieces that was left over on the creases because we don't want it to be too curvy. We want it to almost be like a solid piece. But this is what hubby is doing. He is using the spray glue. We're spraying it there because we really don't want it to move around once we put it uh, the right way and we put the final piece on top of that piece. All these patches that you see will not show once we put the extra final uh, flannel and then we'll put the fabric that we're looking for on top of it. This is the way it looks now that we've tried to fill in some of those gaps. I know it looks patchy, but once we put the flannel on it, it'll be okay. We are looking to finish the details of the back of the backing of the sofa. Um, what you're looking at is all this piece right there. We have cut some slits right there and right there because there's some brackets right there and right there. When we tuck it in to have a finish look like this one, we had to do that because this is how we want it to be finished, a nice clean uh, folding. Right here is a sample of, this is Velcro, 
and hubby here already connected the hard part of the velcro to this material and the soft part is on the material that we're using for the sofa after he does that he's gonna put it together and then he tucks it in and under this part of the it there's a wire a big wire right here so that helps us to have a nice finished clean look just like this one the Velcro we've been using all in this project underneath the sofa, on the back of the backing of the sofa, it's this Velcro. And we've used six boxes of those to finish up the two pieces of the sofa. This is how it looks. Once it's all finished, Velcroed in, tucked in, it looks like a really nice finish. All right. What I'm going to do right here is we want a nice corner because this is kind of corner and this one slants forward, it's not straight. So we're pinning right here and right here to make this nice edge. But in order to keep it nice edge, I'm going to go ahead and take a needle and thread and just stitch it a little bit, just a few stitches so it'll stay in place before we Velcro it on the back side. update of our jackknife sofa upholstery for some reason or other I cannot find or I don't even remember if I recorded the final result but this is a year and a half maybe a little bit longer since we reupholstered our jackknife sofa inside the RV and I want to give you an update of how it looks this is the way it looks of course one of our daughters sleeps on it every single night and we all sit on it to watch TV conversate and I do believe that this material has hold really well it has taken quite a bit beating because we always have people around our friends our kids friends and you know you could see wh where the wear is but the material has stretched and grown with us as well so I will give it a five star <laughs> to this material I got this material at Hobby Lobby I don't remember the name but it's more like a burlap but it's a really soft burlap and I wanted to give you an update of how it looks well it looks like this a year and a half maybe longer since we reupholstered our RV jackknife sofa. Thank you so much.